Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Dennis Aloya with another edition of Keeping It Real, live from Atlanta, Georgia. We do this once a month, and we have a fabulous time doing it. This has been a real special day for uh, a lot of people, me personally, because it's Veterans Day, and I am a veteran. And um, also, it's a very special evening because we've got uh, many guests on tonight, and it's going to be quite a, a wide variety of uh, folks and personalities and some new announcements. I think it's going to be a great time. So I think we'll just go ahead and get started with the show. My first guest is a guy that I've known since the day he was born. Happens to be my son, Mike Aloya, who's CEO of American Hearts Radio Network. And uh, come on up here, Mike, and uh, say hi to the folks out there in uh, Internet Ooh. TV land. All right, what's happening? All right. <laughs> Happy Veterans Day, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your service. Yes, sir. Do it all over again. Anyway, what brings you to town? Uh -oh. You owe me money? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. You know, yeah. <laughs> anyway. The answer to that is yes, by the way. You, Go want, ahead. Your, you want your diaper money back, right? I want my diaper money back, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, uh... You know, we've got so much good things going on, Dad. It's just unbelievable. You know, since we started this whole thing, it's web television productions, and uh, it's, it's just blowing up. We've got new shows coming out. I know it. Uh, you know, Carolyn Dixon, she's an evangelist. We've got gospel praise, or global praise, and uh, she's going to have testimony uh, with a lot of people, and uh, she's going to spotlight on those artists and the uh, Christian and the church uh, groups yeah and uh, she was on Mary Tolbert show and that woman is just she's phenomenal she's she's she's, she's the real deal and her uh, sermon is just very moving well, and uh, and also you know we've got Rachel Jordan's new right, show coming right, out in right. January Looking forward to that college confidential right uh, we're doing a lot with uh, Brian Shirley he's here tonight right um, with the BTS radio show we just did a com uh, uh, comedy competition out in Savannah, or me and Batman were judges, mm -hmm. and you know the lineup tonight. Well, we've got Batman here, we've got Brian Shirley here, we've got Chris Massey here, Rachel Jordan, and uh, we've got Dan Glazer in the house from Comics on Parole. Yeah, I mean, who was to think that it would? And we've only got two chairs. Huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just an amazing journey that you and I have been on, and and the the the, the wonderful people that have come to the network is just overwhelming, and I thank God every day for it. I never thought it had happened. You know, I uh, had five children I raised, and uh, there was one in particular that was the highest maintenance of them all. <laughs> yeah. Can you well, guess who that might be? <laughs> I know I've put you through hell, Dad, I, but... I thought I'd be visiting you in Stateville by now. <laughs> That's the prison well, in know, Illinois. Anyway. I'm a living testimony that you can't turn your life around. Oh, yeah, you've made a big turnaround. No doubt. I, I want to say um, one thing here, and Al, I'm going to want you to get a real close-up of my dad. If, okay, Dad, you got to look at the camera. You're a comedy magician, and you've got a lot of talents. Right. But there's one talent that I know that you have that nobody else knows about. Oh, my God. I want you to wiggle know your ears. Coming. <laughs> wiggle your ears. Watch this. This is going to blow your mind. i got to have Watch peace, this. quiet, and concentration to make this happen. <laughs> See your muscles. Get it real close. Can you get it? Where did where are they at? They're wiggling, man. No, they're, they're wiggling. not. Come on, wiggle them. <laughs> Can you see it? Come on, it looks like Dumbo. <laughs> anyway. No, we've got a great show. I'm glad to be here, but you didn't think I'd throw that one. No, I you didn't, have. actually. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we, we've come a long way, and it's only the beginning of the journey. We've got a lot of visions for the future. Yes. And um, I just love the variety of the different types of shows we have. Everything from this type of show, which is an interview format, to now we have an evangelist show coming on. We're going to have a young lady talking about, you know, the scene there at the college uh, level. College competition. We've got comedy. We've got, you know, what else we've is left? we got Chris I Massey mean, music. We, yeah, we've exactly. We've got uh, Mary Tolbert spa treatments and beauty tips. We've got Don Cossey with health and wellness. Yeah. And, you know, Brian Shirley with the BTS on the road. Exactly. I mean, we've got Britney's Ghost Girls out of out Oh, of yeah, Pittsburgh. great show. We've got more things on the horizon, and it's just an unbelievable journey, and I'm really looking forward to, to, to this going into 2015. Absolutely. This is going to be great. Well, I'm going to let you introduce the... Well, uh, before we go, yeah. before I go, yeah. I want to say 
thank you to all the people behind the scenes Absolutely. that make this happen. Bruce Shepard, Sarah, uh, Al Burroughs, uh, all the great people that, that have worked with us to, to, to make this what it is. And don't forget Joy, the does Joy, great yes, voiceovers for our commercials. So many great people, and you know the Lord's bringing some, some more wonderful people to the table, and I'm just ready for 2015, and I'm so happy to be here, Dad. Yeah, happy me too. Veterans Day. Thank you. God bless all those men and women that have served for our country, and uh, we're here keeping it real. And we'll be back after a short commercial break, and then you're going to get a wonderful opportunity to meet a fellow named Batman. Yeah, he does a vintage cartoon show at 11 a.m. on American Hearts Radio Web Television Network. I'm looking forward to that. Sure. Right. We're back at Med Spa at the Gardens. We are focused on providing exceptional services with the highest levels of customer satisfaction, and we will do everything we can do to meet your expectations. Our goal is to pamper you from head to toe and to bring out your individual natural beauty. The experienced and talented staff members at Med Spa at the Gardens are among the most qualified in the industry. Whether you need a full day of relaxation, a complete anti-aging overall, or a corrective treatment, you'll find it here. Look around our website at www.medspaatthegardens.com. Med Spa at the Gardens is located in Alpharetta, Georgia, inside of Salon Lofts. 970 North Point Drive, Suite 16, Alpharetta, Georgia, 30022. Look around our website and check out our services, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact us. Phone number is 770-597-6971. Med Spa at the Gardens is a proud sponsor of a beautiful moment web television show with Mary Tolbert. Tune in live from Atlanta, Georgia on the first Monday every month at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time on American Hearts Radio Entertainment Network. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I promised you Batman, and here he is, live and in color. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your show I, I, here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, sir. I'm the Batman of Jacksonville, and our studio's down in Jacksonville, where we uh, promote a lot of our shows and make our shows up, right? Yeah. All family entertainment. Right. And I bring vintage cartoons to you every Saturday morning, and I'm telling you, this is what you want to do. You want to watch me, right, because I'm bringing back the childhood, and I'm bringing it to the children, and I'm bringing it to you, right? And I know a lot of you out there love vintage cartoons, and I'm talking the old stuff, right? And now that we're talking about old things, right, let's talk about our United States of America, where our people are out there protected it all the time. And right. on this Veterans Day, I'd like to dedicate a little moment, right, in our shows to recognize the people out there that are protecting the borders of our country. What do you say? I, I think that's a great idea. I think we all just ought to have that in our memory and our thoughts today. It's a special day, and I appreciate you bringing that up. i got to ask you a question. When you say vintage cartoons, do you have, uh, I'm trying to think of one of my little favorites there, Mighty Mouse. Well, not only do we bring you Mighty Mouse, but such that they go back into the 1940s and stuff. Do you remember Betty Boop? Heckle and Jekyll? Heckle and Jekyll. I love uh, Heckle and Jekyll. Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Okay. And we have other entertainment as well, right? Of course, I bring you a couple of the Batman original cartoons. Right. right? And we have Stooges on. We bring home entertainment to American Hearts Radio Network because American Hearts Radio brings hearts together. Yep. Now, what time of uh, the day on Saturday do you do the show live? Well, to tell you the truth, it's always Saturday morning. Is that right, kids? That's right. <laughs> Saturday morning. Right? And you'll find the Batman out there doing his thing, right? And bringing you the best vintage cartoons that you'll ever see. Let's face it. And now, you know, we have other, other programs as well, right? My old buddy, Professor Gravitron. <laughs> He's out of... He's out of this universe. Oh, out of this universe? <laughs> I don't even think he visits our planet sometimes. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> but you need, to, you need to go ahead and watch his program, and that's also on Saturday at night at 8 o'clock, right, or at 7.30, or, and he nice. brings you the sci-fi programs that you love. Yeah, so you got vintage cartoons, sci-fi programs, classic sci-fi programs, right? 
That's so right. Saturday is a real special day on our network with some of these uh, shows that we have going on. Um, have you made any personal appearances as, as your uh, character to promote uh, your uh, show down in Jacksonville? Well, we have been, uh, you know, we are touching base with everybody, right, and, yeah. and all our people. And, right. uh, and we've had co comedy shows on, and we have musical shows on, and we just did uh, a comedy thing down in uh, Savannah, Georgia, and they just loved us there, and we loved them there too, right? And, you know, a lot of my fans are out there, and I know there's a lot of my fans all worldwide. And... I appreciate you guys watching us, and, you know, we're bringing you the best entertainment on this particular network. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Well, Batman, you're the first superhero I've ever met in person. I'm very impressed. Well... Thank you for joining me in this segment. Well, thank you for having me on your show, right? And it's been a real pleasure coming up here to, ja or to, to, to Jacksonville. Atlanta. So, Atlanta, right? I mean, it's overwhelming how welcome I've been up here, right? Maybe because I'm just a little, you know... Legendary and famous, who knows? <laughs> well, maybe you drive a big, long, black car with, you know, fins. Well, everybody seems outfit. to know who I am yeah, wherever exactly. I go. Yeah, I can't miss you, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm going to break here for a short other commercial, and when we come back, I've got a uh, gentleman's schedule, Mr. Brian Shirley. He's going to entertain you with a uh, little bit of comedic humor, and we're going to check in with him and see how his BTS network show is going. So stand by. We'll be right back. And let's break for a short commercial. Thanks again. Calvary Gutter Services LLC provides quality service to our customers. We are committed to excellence and offer a two-year warranty on all workmanship and a lifetime clog-free warranty on all gutter cover systems. We are fully insured for your protection. We are experts in copper and half-round gutter systems, which are offered in sizes ranging from 6 inches to 8 inches. Full soffit and fascia systems can be replaced as we install gutters to avoid wood rot and ensure a job well done. We proudly offer Magnolia Underdeck Systems. We ensure that you are happy with the service we provide. If you need a pro, call us. 678-389-7945. That's 678-389-7945. Calvary Gutter Services. Find us on the web at www.gutteratlanta.org. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for rejoining us. My next guest is Mr. Brian Shirley. Brian is a well-known comedian on the comedic circuit. He's been around for a few years, uh, and uh, more importantly, Brian is an Air Force veteran. I want to say thank you for your service, Brian. Thank you, you old sea dog. Yes, you. I am an old sea dog. No <laughs> question about that. Navy. Uh, yeah, on our side. E3. Which was important. E3. E3. I mean, all the way to E3. Can you you can that? be a cook. I could. At E3. You mean, you know, in boot camp, you're in E1, so I already moved on up. I think I was E2. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, aside from the military experience, you got so much going on in your life, I can't keep up with you. I can't keep up with me either. <laughs> <laughs> Let, uh, well, let's start I mean, with... I'm, I'm blessed to be here. That's one thing. And uh, yeah. First time I was here. And right. I do this story on stage now, folks. Yeah. I, I was here on his show. I was the last guest. And the guest right in front of me was a World War II veteran who had jumped out of the plains in Normandy yeah. and had a res, uh, Purple Heart recipient. Yeah. And he was part of the greatest generation. And there was no doubt about that. Because remember how he showed up? In his a, uniform. A uniform you could cut a loaf of bread with the pleats yeah. in his pants. Yeah. I mean, and the, the medals and everything. And that's how that generation was. And I tell the story on stage. I was stationed in Abilene, Texas. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, my friend said, Brian, when you get to Abilene, there's going to be a beautiful woman behind every tree. Right. In Abilene, Texas. There's no damn trees I in Abilene, Texas. <laughs> so whenever I came on the show, and a lot of people, if you want to go look at this, you can. <laughs> I told Dennis I was in the Air Force. And then when I'm watching this guy, I'm going, why did I tell him I was in the Air Force? This guy jumped out of a plane. So you asked me, yeah. you know, hey, you know, what would you do? I said, well, I learned the best place to sleep on a B-1 bomber was where the wing comes right, into right, the body. And right. you looked at me just like you're, like yeah. you jerk, like yeah. you're looking now. And you said, no. You said, seriously, Brian, did you see any action? Yeah. And I said, and I was in during the first uh, Gulf War. And I said, yeah. yes, I did see some action. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, me and some buddies of mine were outnumbered and surrounded yeah. by some drunk women at a bar in That's Abilene, amazing. Texas. Did you get a medal for that? No, but I did get some twins. Good, good. Well, that's another story to be told on another night, folks. Anyway, you, 
You do a BTS network show on the road with BTS and it's Brian It's BTS on the road. Yeah. And I'm shooting, this is number 18 I'm shooting right now uh, behind the scenes here. And then right. I'm editing. I've got a country club. I'm doing Flat Creek Country Club. Is that correct? Does anybody know any of the country clubs around here? Does that sound right? <laughs> Flat Creek Country Club uh, Friday, and then Jerry Farber's side door. I'm going to do that's uh, a comedy Saturday. club here in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, and, right. Uh, uh, well known by anybody that watches this show, especially Dan's show. Dan Glazer's there every Wednesday. Dan Glazer, who's yeah. who's Dan Glazer? Oh, uh, I don't know. Something about you want to get glazed. Never or heard something? that guy. Um, Is so, somebody famous? <laughs> So I'm doing those uh, this week, and then next week, next Saturday, I'm staying in town, going to do Dan's uh, Comics on Parole next Tuesday, and I'm doing The Painted Pig Saturday. Wonderful. And uh, If I was in yeah. town, I'd, I'd come over there and see you, because but I live right busy there. Too. Oh, yeah. you do, Ken? Yeah, yeah I oh, live okay. in Canton. Yeah. Hey, another thing that's very important to me is yeah. talking about a recent uh, activity that you and my son did down in Savannah, Georgia. Why don't you tell our audience about that? Savannah Comedy Review, Comedy Competition, we had 17 comedians, and I'm talking comedians from uh, Myrtle Beach area, Chris Woolley, a guy out of uh, Conway, uh, several people from where I live, Charleston, South Carolina, some of them on an improv group, group called the Improvables. Uh, I think we had people out of North Carolina, Florida, I mean, all over the place. Uh, it was a great show. We filmed it for this network, for you guys. Wow. So, uh, uh, depends on when they can get it edited, but we're looking maybe at December and having a comedy special Super. Of, a, of a comedy competition right here on American Hearts Radio 24-7 Web TV. That's Network. wonderful. Yeah. And I hope maybe we can do something like that here in Atlanta at maybe Jerry Farber's place. Yeah. Oh, and I do have one surprise that I found out between the time I talked to you today when I got here and now. The twins are going to have twins. No, they're having quadruplets. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's an uh, outfit uh, uh, up north called Smart Butt Comedy. And what they did is they took uh, jokes from a bunch of comedians. Yeah. And they made a playing deck of cards, playing deck out of those jokes. Every cool card idea. has its own joke. And then the comedian and their name and website on there. So I'm the right. six of clubs. Wonderful. And I just found out today that I can be, I'll be getting those cards before I leave Georgia. So I'll either have them at Jerry Farber's side door or and or at the Painted Pig. So if you want a deck of comedy yeah. uh, playing cards, come Well, see. I have a better idea. Well, it's too back, late. We already did Back that. during the first Gulf War, <laughs> yeah. they actually had playing cards of wanted Iraqi Oh, I remember that. People. Yeah. Saddam Hussein yeah. was the ace of spades. Yeah. Yeah. There was a bounty on his head. I think his sons were. His sons were there. The deck. Udi yeah. and Usi or something. Use and Kuse. They had a bounty on their head. So yeah. we could put a bounty on your head. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't have anything on it now, so I guess that would be an improvement. So you got lots of space for a bounty, right? Okay. Yeah, I do. Just, just oh, you're getting there, out sir. Loud. Yeah, Look, I we know. We can put I our know. heads together, make an ass of ourselves. You see? <laughs> He's the hairy cheek. <laughs> anyway, gosh, there's so much going on. It's just unreal. Yeah, and I, I, I just got finished doing a bunch of stuff. The, the, the comedy competition was Friday. I did a show in Goose Creek uh, Saturday. Uh, DJ's uh, memorial. For uh, hospice on yeah. uh, Sunday during the day and did trivia Sunday night. And uh, I think part of entertainment, any of these guys, Chris Massey, Dan, Batman, Mike can tell you, is keeping busy. And the busier you seem to keep, the busier you get. Yeah. It's just the weird thing. When you don't have anything on your yeah. calendar, you don't get anything. Yeah, but when absolutely. you start filling your calendar up, other stuff starts yeah. coming you, in. You don't mind if I plug somebody else here during your segment. Right? If I, I, very just, I just don't want to physically see it. No, but no. Yeah, you well, plug I mean, it. I was going to just mention my, <laughs> my lawyer. Al got the only, He got it. Nobody else got <laughs> that. I'm not explaining that one. If you didn't get it, just sit there. To my, I just wanted to mention is yeah. somebody very near and dear to me. Go ahead. Thank you. I will be appearing in St. Augustine, Florida, this Friday night at the Comedy Club, Jackie Knight's Comedy Club, at 8.30. So for the, those of you that want to come down and see me, you're welcome. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to do a, about a 45-minute magic and comedy show. And let me just say, he is an incredible magician and comedian. And I know because I booked him in Savannah, and yes. they loved you down there. Well, thank and you. And they want you back. Thomas Paris said, I want, I want, I want him back. Wonderful. So, wonderful. yeah, you're definitely okay. going back down in Savannah. Well, thank you so much for coming all this way to join us thank tonight, you. Brian. And again, happy Veterans Day. Your happy service Veterans Day. Is much appreciated. And thanks for having me on again. Yeah, Dennis. we'll do it again. All right. Hey, we got another commercial lined up, folks. I know you just love seeing our high quality commercials that are actually produced in house by my son, Michael Oya, and his manager, 
isn't Bruce your manager, Bruce Shepard, or your engineer? Executive producer. Executive producer. <laughs> I just I, I just gave him a downgrade in his title. <laughs> From executive producer to manager. Love Bruce. Oh, Bruce. You might be just an associate by the time this thing is over. Anyway, we're going to cut to a commercial. We'll be right back with a nice uh, young lady that's going to tell us about her brand new excursion into the comedy world. Be right back. My sisters and I grew up in a funeral home. We've had paranormal experiences all our lives. Many of the souls we encounter are spirits who have lost their way. My sisters and I are dedicated to helping them cross over and get home, but we can't always do it alone. When we need help, we call the fixer. The fixer is our go-between. He summons Cross, our spirit guide and protector. Hey everybody, back again. Surprise! Rachel's not here as my guest. But she will be, so don't be disappointed. Make sure you stay till the end of the show because you're going to see some fantastic entertainers very shortly. And one of the fantastic entertainers is a gentleman named Chris Massey. Hello, Chris. Good to see you, Dennis. Welcome to Keep Happy it Happy Veterans Real. Day, my friend. Thank you, sir. Were you ever in the military? Uh, no, I wasn't, which was a good thing for the United States that I was not in the military. <laughs> so it's, it's, I especially in 1980, I, I, yeah. it was a good idea that I wasn't in there. You know, I saw, I saw a segment, uh, this, guy, this, this guy was interviewing um, some people out in the street, you know, and it was some segment about Veterans Day, and the guy turned to him and he said, were you a veteran? He, he, the guy thought for a minute, he says, yeah, I'm a veteran. He says, uh, what war did you serve in? Uh, he says, I was in the uh, War of 1812. And the guy says, well, what year did that start? He said, 1936. <laughs> so, they were interviewing clueless people on a college campus. That's a true story. I believe it. There's some others that go along with oh, that, yeah, little absolutely. comments that they made back and forth. But uh, I, I just uh, I couldn't believe that level of uh, um, history that's unknown by so many people. Oh, yes. A lot of people are clueless. Clueless. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. not on their Facebook page. They don't. Yeah. They don't know anything about it. Exactly. So, yeah. You know. But I know you've got a show with us. Yes. And in fact, you're going to have your show running after our show this evening about yes. nine thirty Eastern. We're on time. at nine thirty. So um, if you're watching this now, you can you're going to come back at nine thirty and watch his entire show. Mm -hmm. I have his guest tonight, uh, comedian Dulce Sloan, and um, uh, Eva Torchy Taboo, burlesque dancer. Eva Torchy Taboo. Yes. My goodness. She's in the. Uh, she's in the. Uh, I like the name. She's in the Burlesque Dancing Hall of Fame. No kidding. She sure is. Yes. Wow. She's uh, performed all over the country and in Canada. She won't wow. be performing here tonight, but she will be on the show. Oh, God. So there's a bar. <laughs> the, the, oh, I should say this for the folks that live here in Atlanta. I heard that retired strippers are now performing at a place called the Claremont Lounge and. Atlanta or Decatur. That is true. Uh, the it's Chris like a home for old My strippers. band, the Chris Massey Band, we're playing there on uh, December the 4th. <laughs> That's no really? joke, no. No, really, you yeah, are? Yeah, really. Are. The Claremont Lounge. Claremont Lounge. They have bands uh, two Thursdays a month. Wow. And I had uh, Tom Hill as a guest uh, last month, and his band plays there quite a bit. So after the show, he invited us to come out and open up for him, and we're going to be there. Well, I had no clue. I really didn't. Claremont Lounge has been in magazines before as one of the top ten dive bars in the United States. That's what I was going to uh, yes. ask you about. I was going to say, you know, you're going to have a dance a band because people like to dance when they hear music, but can any of these people physically get up out of the chair to dance and partake of the uh, well, uh, I'm environment? Only, I was only in there to check out the sound system, and yeah. they were working pretty hard at it uh, they, they when, were? when I was in there, yes. So yeah. let me know what an old retired stripper looks like. You can probably picture it, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I try not to think about that. Okay. <laughs> he, 
he does a show with music, but I tell you, you got a natural comedic talent. Well, thank you. you. Yeah, you really do. And I'm impressed with your comedy timing, uh, and everything you do on the show is fantastic. We're getting rave reviews. Oh, well, thanks. All right. I, I enjoy it. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and I enjoy interviewing people, having the musical guests on, and or comedians, or, or anybody, you know. Uh, yeah. I try to make the show, it's, it's more about, it's a music show, but it's more about people that are in the entertainment industry. Anybody that has right. anything to do um, with that, you know, we like to have them on. Right. Has it helped you in your uh, musical uh, ventures as yes, far as having your own television show? Yes, it has. In I've what got, way? Well, I've gotten to make contacts and talk with people that I uh, normally uh, probably wouldn't get the opportunity to. So it's um, more of an ice breaker door opener. Right. Even thing. even some uh, more famous people that I've uh, been able to contact and talk with about being on the show, and a couple of them have uh, decided not to be on the show because they just didn't feel like it was their cup of tea. But yeah. I'm uh, still made the contact with them. You well, know, hey, that's a know. big step in the right direction. So, and as everybody knows, when you're in show business, uh, you can never have too many contacts. That's right. You know, How far in advance do you have to plan for your guest lists? Um, I'm usually about a, a month out. Yeah, a month yeah, out, yeah. and I could be, I could be a lot, uh, a lot further out. But I'm kind of lazy, you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, you know. Well, we get, you need to get some guests for the show, you know. Yeah. Like I've got several irons in the fire for December, but I don't have anything. But I, yeah. something will show. Something will happen. And you got two shows a month right now. Two shows a month. That is correct. Okay. And I'm also going to be uh, doing some writing for uh, uh, Rachel Jordan's. Uh, College Confidential. I also it. like your writing skills a lot. Oh, well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. that's because I saw the segment where you were discussing, um, how's a good way, way to put this? The many ways poop is used in a oh, sentence. Oh, yes. Yes, there are the many meanings of that uh, four-letter word. Yeah, poop. Right. Yeah. Uh, we can didn't you, say poop, but yeah. Yeah, that's can you share a few about. of those? <laughs> Can you share a few of those gems with our audience? I'm sure they'd love to hear it. Well, I don't know if I should share any, but... Uh, well, the, sure, go uh, ahead. Well, this is, we're all adults here. You can use the other word. You know, the, mo the, most, interesting, the most interesting thing that I found about in the research of the... Uh, you researched this. ...of the word shit. We, we did a, a, a skit, and you can find it on YouTube about the many... How everybody uses it for everything now. You know, there's good tit... Good shit, tight shit, <laughs> loose shit. slip, it's okay. <laughs> you know, bad shit, you can lose your shit, find your shit. But one of the interesting things I found was the origins of, of the origin of the word. Yeah. And um, in, the, uh, in the 1500s, they used to ship a manure on the ships, and when the manure would get wet, it would release a toxic gas. So, so the crew didn't have to smell it, they would place it high up on the ship. And um, uh, so when it arrived on the dock, it was labeled ship high in transit, or S-H-I-T. <laughs> And that's and that's where and that's where the word came from, and uh, somehow over four hundred and for about four hundred years, yeah. uh, shit meant shit, and then with the counterculture in nineteen sixties, it took on a whole new meaning, and it's just about synonymous. I mean, with everything you say. But see, our audience is a very educated, you know, audience, and they learn something valuable and new every time they watch this show. <laughs> This is something, folks, you won't see in the history books. Am I right? That is correct. Hey, we're in the middle of a show here. Yeah, no, I heard the Chris Massey was talking some shit about me. <laughs> Who are you? Yes, I am the redneck Muslim. What are you Hello, doing? Hello, Mr. Massey. Uh, hello. How are you, sir? I'm doing very the well. Redneck nice to Muslim. see you. It's very good to yes. see you. Yes, <laughs> you were talking shit. Yes, is I that was. Right? Well, yes, but I was. Oh, Mr. Dennis. No, no, you sit down. Okay, you want me to sit <laughs> down? You want me to stay? No, you sit no, down. No, you sit down. No, you are the host. Okay. Okay. So how are you, Mr. Massey? I'm doing very well. I came all the way from Afghanistan because you were talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, no, you will not offend me, but when you're talking shit about somebody, I want to talk to you about some shit. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Especially. Because they use a uh, camel shit over yes. there for fuel, I and he has a camel. I sure do, Irma, and I love her very much. <laughs> well, you're welcome to talk all the shit about me you would like. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's okay. Just don't talk shit about my camel. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she works for Geico on home day. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Chris... I, I have a problem with some shit my personal <laughs> self, and I have I have a bubble in my belly. Right. Yes, and I need a bubble out of me, and it gives me gas. Yes. I can feel it. Oh, 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 oh no! 
Oh, 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 that was some flaming shit. Holy crap. Anyway, wow. let's go crazy. This good to see you. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for joining us, You're sir. You're welcome, Mr. Dennis. I love you. <laughs> now. And I love you too, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> now, that was some hot shit. That right was, there, that was, was yeah. That, yeah. was, that was the infamous redneck Muslim joining us uh, How about unexpectedly, that? yes, from Afghanistan. Well, on that happy note, tell our audience uh, where you're going to be performing next, besides the Claremont Lounge here in Atlanta. Yeah, the Chris Massey Band. We will be performing on Friday, November 21st at the Whistle Post Tavern in Conyers, Georgia. And on November 22nd, we will be at the Moonshadow Tavern, which is one of the sponsors of the right, Chris Moonshadow. Manchin Show. Great food. We're going to be performing there with the downtown executives. And uh, the Moonshadow is kind of home base for us. Right, when we right. play, we get a big crowd when, uh, whenever we play there. And they're so, in Tucker, Georgia. Tucker, Georgia. Right. Great food, great drink, and great people there at the Moonshadow. So, uh, so make arrangements to uh, come out for that. And the new Chris Massey album will be out probably in February. Wow. And uh, we'll be having a, uh, a big CD release party somewhere in town. Well, maybe we can have the Redneck Muslim go out on a promotional tour for your new album. I, I don't know if, if that's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea off the top of this old head. <laughs> well, Chris, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank keep you. your shit together, okay? I will okay? keep it together. Yes, right. I will. All right. We're going to cut for a short commercial. We'll be right back, folks. Don't leave. Moonshine Tavern in Tucker, Georgia. Moonshot Tavern, they got great food, great drink, and great live music five nights a week. Right now at the Moonshot Saloon, you can go and get five appetizers for five bucks, five bucks each. That's right, five appetizers for $25. So just go down there and get them. Hell, those appetizers, man, that's a whole meal in itself. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I think I'm almost recovered from that last segment. <laughs> anyway, this lovely young lady next to me is Miss Rachel Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, she has uh, appeared uh, several times on uh, the Chris Massey show here and there. And we thought uh, so much of Rachel and her uh, screen presence that we thought maybe we'd uh, give her her own show if she was interested. And I'm happy to say you're interested. I am. I'm yeah. very excited about it. Great. Mm -hmm. And it's going to premiere when? Um, in January, I believe okay. it's the second Wednesday of the month, 9.30. 9.30? Yep. And you're currently a student at Georgia Tech College. Yes, full-time college student. All right, so mm -hmm. is the show going to revolve around your college life and have a, a perspective of a young person in college? Yeah, um, we're going to try to have guests from different areas in school. Uh, the, we have a student newspaper there, right. uh, marching band, athletes. Because they all kind of, we all run in different circles. Georgia Tech's pretty big. It's about 12,000 undergraduate students. Wow. So um, it's definitely easy to find someone that does something completely different than you, even though you're going to the same school. Yeah, well, uh, how many different classes are available out there? I mean, specialties. I know they have a great mm -hmm. aviation uh, school, engineering school. They're famous mm -hmm. for that. Uh, you can get students that are all involved in these different uh, aspects of college uh, learning. Yeah. And maybe, you know, have them come in if mm -hmm. they would like to be a presence on our network and they can talk about what their aspirations are and how they're learning their trade, so to speak, mm -hmm. and just kind of kick it around. And you going to do anything like Animal House? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely know a few people who are into that Greek life scene, so. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a possibility. I heard that at a Halloween party that the togas were out finally. The togas became popular when Animal House mm -hmm. movie was out. Yeah. And finally it's kind of worn out its welcome. Now they don't go to togas anymore. No, no more toga parties. It's yeah. kind of a uh, just general costume parties now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you want to know what college I went to? Sure. Uh, none. None. <laughs> none. I have a degree in the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> yeah. You can only get that on the mean streets of Chicago on the west side where I grew up. Uh, but, uh, you know, one thing about college people, they get all of this great education, and you really need it to be successful in this world of mm -hmm. ours. But I know a lot of people that became professional students, and they have all kinds of degrees, but the one degree they're missing is a degree in common sense. Have you ever run into that? Yeah, quite a, quite a few times. Quite a few and, times? Yeah. 
And I never qu could quite understand how somebody with so much education could have so little common sense. <laughs> I mean, I think for some There's people, there's a subject for yeah. a show. You either have one or the other. Sometimes, yeah. You should get some uh, people on your show that don't have any common sense and see where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it made for an interesting segment. It That's would, sure. it yeah. would, you know, and, and have it non-scripted. Let them mm -hmm. embarrass themselves, just like you're doing here with me, and uh, let it go where it might go. Yeah. You know, it's always fun. It always That's turns true. into a comedic moment. <laughs> but you have a great smile, so if yes. you do comedy, that's going to be a plus. Um, do you do anything in school, like in the drama area or something related to, you know, um, stage I'm presence, so to speak? In the marching band um, and color guard. So as far as stage presence, I perform in front of about 40,000 people every Saturday. Wow, so, so you're yeah. out there for every football game. Mm -hmm. Most, all the home games, um, a couple of the away games. They okay. don't take everyone. It's kind of expensive. So Really? Yeah. Uh, when you go to an away game, do they pay your expenses? Just mm -hmm. curious. Yep, they do. Um, the whole band, we take about six Greyhound buses. Uh, we stay in hotels. The hotel normally caters everything. Mm -hmm. Depending on what kind of game it is, we normally get some nice free stuff. So cool. AC Championship, bowl games, those kind of things. Cool. Yeah. i got to ask you one question, being a young college student. Mm -hmm. What is the feeling about legalizing pot with the students? Um, it's happening in a lot of states. Yeah, I would say among college students, that feeling is probably overwhelmingly uh, supportive. Supportive. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Little political poll here. Yeah. Um, well, listen, I, I really, you know, wish you a great deal of success with your new show. I know you're going to be great at it. Thank you. Um, the first one's always the toughest, and mm -hmm. then it gets easier from there. Yeah. And uh, we'll try uh, to in encourage the redneck Muslim not to make a surprise <laughs> appearance on your show. I would appreciate and, that. <laughs> <laughs> so on that happy note, folks, I want you to tune in. Next month, the second Tuesday at 7.15 Eastern Time. For Keeping It Real, live from Atlanta, Georgia, I'm your host, Dennis Aloya. Thanks to all my guests. God bless all the veterans out there. We'll see you next week. <laughs> next month.